Russians are the most optimistic people in the world. They have a saying. You never know when a piano is going to fall on you. Actually, most Russians think that the piano is going to fall on someone else. This is why many drivers see full coverage insurance as a waste of money. In Touch, a car insurance company launched a new product, an insurance policy which protects cars from damage that is not the fault of the driver. To prove that a car can be damaged because of factors that are beyond anyone's control, we created an experiment, car versus piano. A 350 kilogram grand piano was suspended from nine ropes above a car. The safety of the car was affected by dozens of real external factors. Twice a day, a random event determined the fate of each rope. For instance, if Barcelona made it to the final championship match, a rope would be cut. If not, it would remain intact. Another rope was supposed to be cut if the temperature in Moscow went above 21 degrees Celsius. And it did. The audience was able to decide the next factor and bet whether the piano would survive the day. The experiment was broadcasted live 24-7 on carversuspiano.ru. To prove that everything was live, we added a timer and a Twitter feed projected on a wall. Every time someone tweeted with the hashtag car versus piano, the message appeared. Every single tweet brought more participants. By the end of the third day, car versus piano had become the second most trended topic in Russian Twitter, with mentions outnumbering the final game of the National Hockey Championship, which took place that evening. For an insurance company, this was a first. 39% of the visitors returned to the website more than once during the week. Half of the traffic was generated by word of mouth, and by the sixth day, the number of visitors exceeded the client's media plan by 200%. People kept discussing the project even after it was over, not just in Russia. And though we couldn't save the world from falling pianos, we did make more drivers consider buying in-touch insurance.